morning. It's Thursday, 10th of June. Uh, I'm in my car in a field because it's a car boot. So I'm gonna do a car boot and a quick auction pickup before I open up the shop today. So let's see if I can find any back. 25 past nine. I need to get a move on because I've got to go to the auction to pick up some stuff before I open up the shop. I got some glassware and then some odds and ends, some lot of copper, mini copper I think, and then bits and bobs. So I'll show it's you later. It's 20 to 11. I picked up all the stuff from the auction, been back, dropped it back, then I had to go park my car. There was nowhere, so I was go around the block a few times to find somewhere to park my car. Uh, I will flip the camera around and show you the pile. There you go, so that's a combination of stuff that I've picked up from the car boot and auction. So I need to move that before I open the door. It's about quarter to 12 um, and I've had people in since I opened up. I'm not taking much money, but um, browsers, you know, holiday makers, killing time. Um, I've put majority of the stuff that I picked up from both auction and car boot out of sight because I knew that I would start to feel overwhelmed if I had boxes everywhere, because I've still got a box from the chat bought in on Saturday, there's still a little bit um, of other stuff to sort through and I just don't want to get to that feeling of being overwhelmed. I can always go and get a box in a little while. So I'm just sorting through some of the stuff that I picked from auction. This stuff, there's a lot of broken, um, already faded or whatever. It's not great, but I paid £2 for this lot, so <laughs> it's no great loss. So in that lot was a, a lid that didn't match any of the other china and funnily enough it matches exactly the tea set that I've still got on here that came in on Saturday so it's the Royal Albert Lavender Rose it's a lid so would you sell a lid on its own seems to be in good oh it's a tiniest little chip just on the rim you can just about see it there can you see it would you sell that on its own you see, I hate throwing stuff like that away. And there's a Royal Worcester Evesham gold, some sort of lid for something. And I've got a lid for a terrine down there, which is blue and white thing. I just don't like throwing anything away. Right, well, nobody's in. I'll quickly show you a few bits that I picked up from the car boot this morning. So I will talk quite quickly because the chances are people will come in. So I picked up a couple of these. But they're rather nice. Add to my Russian stuff over there. I got um, a commemorative mug. Now, normally commemorative mugs, I wouldn't really touch them. But I just thought this is a pretty one. And stupid enough, I was thinking, oh, well, when holiday makers, foreign holiday makers come, they like to take a bit of commemorative wear. Obviously, we're not going to have foreign com holiday makers, are we? But anyway, this one is for the Golden Jubilee. Just thought it was a really nice quality looking one. I got a rather nice tin um, with loads of pins in it. Oh, and a few buttons. Uh, that's a William Crawford and Sons. A Whitbread tankard. Go down the end with my brewery armour. I got this, which I thought I really just like the box. Picture dominoes. Um, the box is a bit tatty and stuff, but inside, I thought that was quite tough. What do you think? 60s? Um, I got a couple of little animals, a brass dog. Is that like an Airedale or um, what's the other one's called? Is it a fox terrier or something? And a gorgeous little elephant. Quite heavy, both of those. A nice Japanese lacquered box. A lantern that lights up. A lovely blue planter. Um, I'll show you what's inside there in a minute. Um, a sort of oops, wooden solitaire game that comes with the lid so you can... It's a travel game. It's quite cool. And then in here... Some little Lomonosov figures. So the monkey, I really like monkeys, so he was a keeper. Um, then there's the classic sort of lion cub one. 
and finally polar bear so they'll go in my cabinet with my other animals so that's it for now Avon order arrived. Um, it wasn't something I'd ordered. Um, it was paperwork from like my account. So people who've ordered online and I've ordered online for myself. Um, sort of a record of that. And a lipstick. I think maybe this was a free gift for something or other. And it was in a huge box for some paperwork and a lipstick. Ridiculous. I've taken £13 today and it's two o'clock. And that was in the first five minutes of opening, literally. I opened the door, she came in, she paid for it. I've not had anything else since. <sighs> Days like this make you wonder. I've got my watch on again today. I really love this watch. Not been wearing it. Well, I stopped watch wearing a watch when all this COVID thing started because I had to keep washing my hands all the time. But I've decided to put the watch back on now. Um, I'm listing on my website. I've messaged my daughter for some lunch, but she's ignoring me. So I might have to lock up and go and get it myself. I don't know. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know what time it is. Lost track completely. It's about quarter past three. I have had a few more customers, so that's good. Um, I don't think it's going to be any kind of record day, but it's not a £13 day. So, all good. Um, I put some more stock out. I couldn't show you because I had people in. Um, I've got red nose because I've had my mask on quite a bit. Uh, but I took some photos. So if you watch the little video bit at the end, you'll see some other bits that I picked up. Um, I think it's going to be a short one today because uh, I kept getting interrupted so I couldn't show you the things. Um, there's not much going on. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.